there is now yet another study that has received widespread coverage and which seemingly claims that the AMOC or the Atlantic Meridional Overturning Current is about to collapse. It is true indeed that we are close to a collapse of this current, but when is it expected? And what is expected? Will it be like the movie The Day After Tomorrow, which shows a sudden shutdown of the circulation and its effects? Or will it be much slower? First of all, what is the AMOC? The Atlantic Meridional Overturning Current or the AMOC is a very large scale current. It is an overturning as the name suggests of the entire Atlantic Ocean all the way from the Southern Ocean which surrounds Antarctica to near the Arctic. This circulation, the water current moves over 15 million cubic meters of water per second and at the end of the day it basically moves heat and salt water and energy upwards towards the north from the southern hemisphere and the tropical regions. Now the AMOC, the overturning circulation moves extremely large quantities of water and heat how is this overturning triggered? Turns out this is due to changes in temperature and salinity. This combination of temperature and salinity driven ocean currents is called the thermohaline circulation. The AMOC is one of two major thermohaline currents and the AMOC carries warm salty water in the upper layers of the Atlantic towards the north and at the bottom there is convection. So there is a southward flow of deep and colder waters. This is how it churns the entire ocean. Now in a lot of coverage of this study and this current, the AMOC current, there are references to the jet stream and the gulf stream. It is important to remember that none of these mean the same thing. First of all, jet streams are air currents that are up in the air, not in the ocean. The Gulf Stream is a completely different Atlantic Ocean current which moves from the east coast of the US towards Europe, accelerating and then splitting into two. The North Atlantic Drift goes towards Europe and the Southern Stream moves towards West Africa. This Southern Current becomes the Canary Current. This is the Gulf Stream. The AMOC is entirely different and it actually intersects and passes through the Gulf Stream but the AMOC is much deeper in the waters underneath while the Gulf Stream is a surface current that is driven by wind. While the AMOC also has a wind component on the surface, between the two of them, the larger and the more impactful current and the more impactful phenomenon is the AMOC. The AMOC fluctuates in its strength constantly. It has been changing since the Industrial Revolution, since 1850s. Scientists have been worried about its weakening now for at least 40 years and currently all data seems to indicate that it is the weakest that it has ever been. It has collapsed in the past before humans existed, which ultimately led to the collapse of the Antarctic ice sheet back then. But how and why is the AMOC at its weakest right now and why has it been varying over the years, steadily weakening? Surprise, surprise, it's because of us. Human driven climate change is what has been causing the steady weakening of this large scale oceanic current. Multiple studies comparing the characteristics of the AMOC since 1950 at least have managed to confirm that there have been large variations and delayed negative feedback that drives this current. The negative feedback itself causes variability. A weak AMOC cools down a certain region, a large region of cold water which then increases in density because it's cold. This in turn strengthens the AMOC because it's so cold it starts moving and that is the negative feedback. Scientists think that this oscillation between weakening and strengthening could actually be a sign of the AMOC losing its stability in general. And when that stability, its ability to form the same way is lost, the current will collapse. How? How does that happen? The thermohaline currents carry warm salty water and move this across the oceans. As the sea surface temperature increases, the temperature of the water body oceans is affected. 
Additionally, as the temperature gets warmer and warmer, more and more glaciers start to melt and this in turn increases the freshwater content in the ocean. So, salinity is affected too as well as temperature. This is why AMOC has been weakening steadily since the Industrial Revolution in the 1850s, since the time humans started to alter the global temperature. So all data seems to be indicating that we're heading for a collapse. What does that mean? What happens when the AMOC collapses? The largest change globally that we would probably observe is the changing of rainforests in the Amazon. These will slowly transition to a savanna and in the process will release large amounts of carbon dioxide that will accelerate climate change even more. If no warm waters are being carried upwards, northwards, Europe will freeze in general, both in summers and in winters and it will enter an era of food insecurity. On the other hand, sea levels will rise off the coast of North America. This will then reduce plankton production in these waters, affecting marine life. But there's more that affects the marine life. Within the oceans, there will be more stratification or layering of waters by temperature because the current that mixes these layers is gone. So there is less mixing of water, which in turn leads to less mixing of oxygen, which then leads to deoxygenation of the ocean. This leads to suffocation of marine life. This lack of mixing will also affect weather and climate. Rainfall patterns across the world will change, ocean currents will change, large-scale extinction events could be triggered because of the collapse of marine life, and there will be cyclones and superstorms and extremely magnified natural disasters. This is what our future is going to be at some point. But when? Where exactly are we right now? All these studies seem to indicate that we're heading closer and closer to a collapse. It is true indeed that AMOC is reaching a tipping point, but it isn't happening this week or this year. It could happen from the year 2057 and will most likely happen by the year 2100, but experts warn that it isn't happening immediately and there's no cause for immediate alarm. While on a geological time scale, we are indeed precipitously close to an AMOC collapse, in our lifetime, we still have some time. How will this collapse occur? Once AMOC reaches a tipping point and crosses it, studies and simulations show that this then becomes a runaway effect leading to the collapse of AMOC entirely within 10 to 40 years or so. And when that begins, we will definitely know.